Well, this is a first. Phoenix has been convicted of murder. Murder by association, no doubt, but, uh... I don't know if I would really call this a proper conviction. This whole court system is a freaking sham. It, it brings up an interesting question. See, now Phoenix is, at present, a, a convicted murderer because uh -huh. of the DCA Act. Right. Well, I guess it, I, I guess well, it just assigns the same sentence. Yeah, about, yeah. But still, you could look at it that way. And perhaps, you could. perhaps that's necessary. So the question is, is, would this cause an international incident? Like, seriously, the U.S. or Japan or Japan-ifornia yeah. or America Japan or America Pan or, like, the the country-verse of L.A. or whatever it is. <laughs> like, one of their citizens is over here. About to be executed. Now, one, another one is, too, but she was actually convicted of murder. But yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It's true that, technically speaking, Phoenix has been sentenced, has been legally sentenced with a sort of conviction of a crime. He wasn't really sentenced with a crime. But, you know, this is the sort of thing that could cause a diplomatic incident, or everyone will ignore it, and none of that matters. Okay, but, but, international law aside, we're the bittersweet gamers. But, but I'm we squared? Well, you are we squared. I'm the opinionator, and I suppose that's enough of junk like that. W what the heck? Fortunately... Uh, we've give, we've been given a lifeline because this second murderer is, and and the attempt to charge Maya as a serial killer. <laughs> There's bound to be something here that we can use. There was something in the previous one we could have used, but you know how it goes. We'll get there. So we have a chance to not all be killed. I hope we do it. Don't get killed, that is. I'm just going to stop now. What do I do now? I can't believe Maya and I were actually found guilty. Isn't it weird how they're letting us walk around, though? I know, it's so strange. Why aren't we in jail? We have no idea if Maya's there or not. R right, but right. Phoenix is walking around. Yeah! This trial need not be drawn out any longer. I don't have time to sit and listen to actual testimony and logic and statements from a actually trustworthy... Oi! This, the complaint okay, stop, was the, stop, this is the flashback. The problem we haven't discussed is the placement of the blood. Yeah. The defense has failed to counter the charge filed by the prosecution. In accordance with the law, I invoke the Defense Culpability Act against the defense. Now then. This court finds the accused, Maya Fay, and the defense, Phoenix Wright. See? Guilty. Now, the, the defense, Phoenix Wright, was found guilty. He has been convicted. Ah, of sorry, I cut you off there. I had to scream in the flashback. Well, it's nice that you're so jolly. I guess somebody needs to be jolly right now. Mr. Wright! I'll be! I saw the whole trial. What's going to happen to Miss Maya now? I'm worried about that too, but I'm also concerned with my own life. But right now... I have one more thing to report, Prosecutor Saad Mahdi. Yes? This dagger... It bears the fingerprints of Maya Faye on it. Right now, I need to focus on the next trial. The murder of Acolyte Zealot, right? Oh! Well, well. Um, that just throws us out, or our theory out the window. But I, that's, that's the sort of standard Phoenix Wright approach. After so many games, you're like, oh, that guy's the killer. This took the, the person who had fit every definition of the yeah. killer and then kills him. Good job, Gabe. At least the jury is still out on that one, so to speak. That wasn't really very funny, Mr. Wright. The two murders are most likely connected because they're... They're most likely connected. I'm not going to get into it. If I can get to the bottom of Acolyte Zealot's murder, it might give me the ammunition I need to overturn Maya's guilty verdict. And your own! Let me help you investigate. I want to assist you in any way I can! But that's just like Phoenix, thinking about other people. Yeah, absolutely. Like, he, uh, yeah, sure, he's concerned about his own death, but... He's more concerned about Maya, and if he overturns Maya's guilty, it saves him too, so, I mean... I appreciate it, Albie, but we're talking about a murder. 
yeah, but it's gonna be hard for a foreigner to investigate this on his own. You can't read anything, and you don't really know the language, though I guess that doesn't really stop you. You have a point there, and so does Damon. Hmm, I wish I knew what to do. I'm sure any minute now, Rayfa's going to come and just swoop in and latch herself onto the investigation. Ahem! <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know how I feel about this. On the one hand, Rafa actually was, like, really hurt after her insights were wrong the last time. But she did, like, do all that grandstanding and bragging about, and I'm going to get you killed. Look at her father. Well, what I'm saying is, uh -huh. and, she, and she was, like, all threatening. But then, uh, not only was she sort of proven wrong, but she also got her wish. And so she's probably... It's yeah. Like, I'm sure she's feeling a lot of really complicated feelings at the moment. That's why she's, you know, like this. Isn't that your benevolence? Man, if if I knew the only way to get her to stop banging on about me was to get convicted of murder, I'd probably take her banging on about me. Banging on about you? It's a British phrase. I'm sorry. Um, Princess Rafa? Hmm. Oh, it is you again. The dead lawyer walking. Guilty of abetting a murderer under the Defense Culpability Act. I see she hasn't lost any of her charm. Abetting, that's what it is. <laughs> and then, who deflated? Why the long face? Oh, shut up. You're mocking me. I thought you'd be glad I was found guilty under the DC Act. Huh. <laughs> I'm in no mood to take joy in your suffering. For I was unable to defeat you and had to leave the job to others. I failed in my sacred duty as the royal priestess. I guess that answers my question. Have I misunderstood the voice of the Mitama yet again? This, this cannot be! Slow motion fall. <laughs> well, we're all just mopey here, except for Billy. Billy's not mopey at all. <laughs> all I did was defend my client. Mm. I can't bear to see her looking so sad like this, though, because I'm a decent human being. Yeah, like I said, it's 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 conflicting. Your benevolence. Your your benevolence. Your benevolence. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Bob Ted, you're still here. I thought you had already begun your journey to the Twilight Realm. I. But. Why is there someone with an axe behind me? I'm not dead yet. I still have an investigation to do. For tomorrow's trial. What's this? D do you mean to say... You, you have not given up yet? What do I have to lose? That's right. I'm going to prove Maya innocent tomorrow. But why? Why do you refuse to give up? I cannot fathom such obstinacy. Investigate all you want. I care not. You really don't mind? But aren't you worried that a lawyer backed into a corner by the DC Act might do something desperate like forge evidence? What's this? If left unsupervised, I'd be free to do whatever I wanted, you know. <sighs> Is Phoenix trying to cheer her up by letting her come along and abuse him? Maybe so? Maybe he's also trying to make his own case better by having her with him. Yeah, them. yeah. Okay, now to see if she takes the bait. <laughs> you know, it could be several things all at once. Yes, I, I see your point. Barbed head. Yes, I shouldn't answer to that. It just encourages her. I know what happened yesterday. You perpetrated some sort of fraud or other misdeed while I was not watching. What? And and now we get the uh, happy Kurain music. Yeah. That explains why I misunderstood the voice of the high priest's soul. Yes, of course, that is the only explanation. 
Well, congratulations, Phoenix. You did your uh, long-standing duty of cheering up the underage girl and getting her to follow you around. Don't say it like that. I'll get arrested for something else. I was just trying to cheer her up. Now she thinks even less of me. I must not allow you to sully our sacred hall of justice with your misdeeds ever again. Therefore, today, I will be monitoring your every move once more. I will not fail to spot your misdeeds this time. The moment I see anything out of the ordinary, I will tell my daddy, send you straight to prison. It's the same thing, really. And you, boy, do not throw your lot in with this foreign devil. Oh. B but your benevolence... This conversation seems to have quite a lot of layers in it, and I don't know how to approach it. <laughs> it's okay, Albie. You don't need to worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. This Why is are you me, staring at me? This is me pointedly not laughing at your joke, Mr. Wright. <sighs> Somebody in this situation is going to be mostly serious. But first, I should probably lighten my load a bit. Oh! Aldi, would you mind holding on to all this useless evidence for me? It's probably not going to come up later, so just Why do you want me to clean it up? Why do I have to? Well, okay. I'm always glad to help. Maybe I can sell it to somebody. <laughs> Unloaded on to Aldi. Oh, I made ten dama with that. Yeah. May the Holy Mother's blessings be upon you. I'm going to need it. Though I don't know who I'm going to sell this bloody scrap of paper to. Not uh. Now then... <laughs> The scene of the crime is the logical place to start. If I recall correctly, the body was found at the Plaza of Devotion. Now, what we might find out is that Zealot still is the person who killed Abbott in me. That's true. That's true. But then we would need to find out who killed uh, Abbott right. Zealot. Now, the th no, no, he's not an Abbott. Shut up. So, even if it, even if Zealot did nothing wrong, it's just, it's just the law of Ace Attorney. You suspect everyone involved, especially the person that you haven't gotten around to talking to, and the person who is the slimiest. And so we just, it just <laughs> until proven otherwise. Yeah, it's just fundamentally right now, that's that's Zealot. It's just they killed him. So Rafa, are you jealous? Do not flaunt that strap before me. Why are you always trying to? Push this stuff in my face! You know, I get the feeling you really want this for yourself, your benevolence. It's fine, I'll just seize it with acid <laughs> forfeiture. <laughs> After all, the owner is going to be murdered soon! <laughs> or, or, or executed, I... You nincompoop! You know not of what you speak! I liked your response better. <laughs> I desired it so dearly that I had all of our state resources devoted <laughs> to proving her guilt. Uh, I had all of our retainers dispatch multiple postcards for it. All right, then. It seems really want was an understatement. I may have been just a little out of line there, though. <laughs> well, I guess he was killed while praying. He died as he lived, face down and praying. Looks like the police already finished their investigation. I'll feel bad if we've just been dumping all these suspicions onto the poor guy. Yeah, me too. To think someone would be killed here, a place devoted to prayer. A body outline and flowers? Did someone leave them here in memory of the deceased? And there's something different about the play 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 play. play. About the player flags? Prayer flags today. As the high priest's disciple, Acolyte Zealot was utterly devoted to his training. First the high priest, and now his devoted disciple. Maya Fey will pay for this. As I keep trying to tell you, Maya has nothing to do with any of this! You say that, but she's already been convicted! And you can prove this how? Well, a conviction by your sham of a lot. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing here? Gathering dirt and dust for the trial? Am I a janitor or a lawyer? You and your smart mouth. This is precisely why you and your lawyerly ilk are so reviled. Hey, Mr. Wright. Emma! It's that detective from your country again. Oh, it's the princess. 
You seem displeased that I am here. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be silly. I don't dislike you because, uh, I mean, Mr. Wright, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry about what happened to Maya. It's not your fault, Emma. You were just doing your job. And if I had just done mine. Mr. Wright. But it's no use crying over spilled milk. Would you mind telling me what you know about the murder? It's do or die in court tomorrow, and I mean that literally. Gladly. I'll help in any way I can. And hey, you know, if the kindly murderer hadn't done this, then uh, Fina, F Fina and Myix, what's wrong with me? Uh... Then Phoenix and Maya would be doomed! Remember, I have my eyes on the both of you, so see to it that you commit no misdeeds. It's I'm okay, Emma. I'll distract her with this keychain. Ooh, look, it's a keychain. Of course not. <laughs> You're talking to a professional here. Never once have I done something inappropriate at the site of an investigation regarding lawyers. Never one time! It's okay, Emma. I believe you. I don't know why. Because I believe in my friends. That's what I do. To think I would witness a lawyer being allowed to pass through the sacred gate. Yeah, well, I wouldn't unless I had to. <laughs> Those stairs were brutal to climb. Ugh. What's this? Do you even know how many monks would give their lives to pass through that gate? Well, apparently they don't have bad backs like I do. Be thankful for the great honor you have been afforded. <laughs> yes, your benevolence. This prayer flag looks much newer than the rest. Um, your benevolence? What does it say here? The dearest wishes of our subjects are written upon these prayer flags. Reading the prayers of others is considered rude. But if you must know... It says, at the usual spot, bring grub the key to... Wait, this is Your seems... benevolence? Uh, that doesn't strike you as a little weird? Huh. That is one of the more direct and practical prayers I've ever seen. I doubt the person was setting up a rendezvous for the Holy Mother for dinner date or something! I wonder if it's even a prayer. Maybe some sort of secret message between two people colluding because they know that culturally it's rude to read other people's prayers. M. Acolyte Zealot was killed in a prayer post. See, Acolyte, he's not an abbot or whatever other rank you try to promote it to. With well, his head bent over like that, the last thing he saw must have been this rug. Well, I guess if he was in the military and he died, he'd be given a two-rank promotion. But Abbott is kind of more than two ranks above Acolyte, no matter how you look at it. <laughs> we'll just call him Captain Zealot. Wait, that's different. It is a prayer rug, well... <sighs> <laughs> Why do I have to fail at everything? I just... Nothing's been going my way li lately. There, there, your benevolence. Except for that conviction. That was pretty good. <laughs> it's a prayer rug woven by devout monks. May the Holy Mother's blessing be upon his departed soul. It's strange that there are no blood stains, though. Or is that just going to get thrown out in court, too? Here in Kurain, we don't believe in the existence of blood. Hmm... Perhaps it was so cold his blood froze. Or perhaps it was absorbed by his vestment. Oh, wow. I mean, that first part's kind of ridiculous, but that second part actually makes sense. That would be one super thick vestment then, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, not much blood's going to get out if the dagger was still stuck in him, after all. Mm, I it's guess. It's pulling the weapon out that usually causes blood splatter. Well, I mean, the fact of the matter is... The blood isn't there. So. Remember, everyone, in the event that you get stabbed, you want to keep the weapon in for as long as possible until a medical professional can look at it and put pressure on it, too. This has been a public service announcement? I was going to say, if you get stabbed, you should yell something like, Our guy's been stabbed! And try and wipe blood around everywhere and then do what Billy said. Like, whatever blood has already come out, you should smear it in as many places on the ground in the area as possible while shrieking that you have been stabbed. That, that's a good point, too. But mainly you want to live and do what Billy said. It's just like, <laughs> how many how many things would be improved 
if, if people left more evidence? Yeah. I mean, in a way, that's like sticking it to your killer, too. Yeah, yeah. Anyway! <laughs> I'm sorry, it was my fault. It is pretty cold. Maybe the blood really did just freeze inside his body. Huh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna... I am going to do that. Uh... The next time I get stabbed, I'm going to make sure to yell, I have been attacked! Stab! Maybe I could... Ha, not today. Maybe I could pull out my phone and start recording it. Like, I've just been stabbed. <laughs> um, just in case I don't make it, this is my last will and testament. I love you, family, etc., etc. Also, but... Billy stabbed me. <laughs> yeah, also, Billy stabbed me. Convict him. Acolyte Zealot died bent over in prayer. I... I already said this. Why is it asking... Why is it going through it again, even though it's a separate examine point? The fact that there's so little bleeding could mean it was a single stab to a vital point. Not that that would have been very difficult, considering the position he was in. So these flowers were left here in memory of Acolyte Zealot. Uh, what are they called? They are known as Namanda, and they are given to express sorrow when a life is lost. It seems offering flowers in memory of the dead is a universal practice. Hmm. I, I just have to say, this is a really weird time to be playing such happy music. Right? Like inve investigating a criminal scene? A criminal well, and scene. after having just been convicted, after Maya's been convicted. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe they're trying to keep it from being too gloomy. In, in a way, that means you're pretty in sync with it. I suppose so. Oh, there's the thunder outside. <laughs> Maybe I'm actually only complaining about this because, like, here in the real world, it's a dark and stormy night or something. <laughs> Let's see. How about starting with an overview of what happened? Sure. The victim is Perey Zealot. Oh, Perey. Like, Perey. That's so funny. <laughs> How long have you lived in this world we live in? He was. My name is Emma Sky. It's perfectly normal. Fair point. Normal. A fair point. He was the high priest's disciple. His body was discovered around noon today. Hey. Uh. Uh. Excuse me. Well, before we get to important things like that, Mr. Wright, it just occurred to me. All uh? right. Why is it that the people in this country have? names that are puns in our language. Isn't that such a weird coincidence? I've never noticed that before. I was going to go in a completely different direction than where you went. Uh, anyway, it was right after the right wrapped up. So, during the High Priest's murder trial... That's... right. So, how are they going to pin this on Maya? This is Karayin! We will find a way! Apparently, he had been here praying since the day before the riot even started. Talk about serious devotion. Yeah, I barely lasted a few minutes. Well, that's because of your 90-year-old back. Maybe... Maybe when he got blasted in Phoenix Wright 1 by that stun gun. <laughs> you know, that, that just, like, completely wrecked his lower back or something. Possibly! He this is a picture of Mr. Zealot's body. Yeah, right at the base of the spine. That dagger in his upper back looks like it would have been particularly painful. Uh, he, well said? What the heck? Of course! <laughs> no, no, they said it for stun. Wait, is that a tattoo on the back of his neck? It's peach-shaped? Do I want to know? Oh, but if you turn it upside down so it's upright, then it, would, then it would be like like the lotus, you know? The oh, yeah, yeah. About to, like the closed flower about to open. Everyone started leaving when the praying was finally done. But the victim remained bent over in prayer. And when they went over to check on him... E excuse me? Now hold on a minute, Emma. You mean to tell me that everyone got up glanced at the man with a bird-shaped knife sticking out of his neck and was just like, hmm, is he okay? That's so culturally insensitive, Nick. Yeah, the estimated time of death is May 9th, sometime between the start of the rite and the discovery of the high priest's body. Which means... Which means <laughs> Phoenix saw him dead! <laughs> yes! 
In other words, we believe the crime took place during the purification rite, and no one, no one noticed because... Oh, wow. And the murder weapon was the same ceremonial dagger that killed the high priest. The prosecution believes Maya came down the stairs after killing the high priest, and then stabbed Mr. Zealot with the same dagger for some reason. Circumstantial evidence does point to Maya, but... Is it just me, or was this done in the opposite order? Like, in order to get up there, somebody killed him. What about the cause of death? He apparently died instantly from the dagger that was left thrust into his upper back. Here's the autopsy report. Ooh, I like how we got that when there was a thunderbolt. <laughs> well, you know, real life imitates fiction and whatnot. Yeah. Estimated time of death, you say? How can you know such a thing? I want to know... Well, Bob Ted, out with it! It's called forensics, Rafa! For in sick? Oh, so the princess of the spirit medium kingdom is interested in forensic science? <laughs> well, oh, let God. me. We let need me, to flee now! I'll tell you all about it! Well, I'd explain it to you, Rafa, but it might be too foreign to you? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I tell you to die, Bob Ted, but you're already going to. Mm. I have no interest in science, forensic or otherwise. Nevertheless, I will someday be queen. And this is important knowledge to have? As such, it would be wise to know what silly things the common folk believe in. Huh. There's nothing silly about it. I'll have you know even Prosecutor Saad Mahdi holds forensics in high regard. Does he really? Hmm. Perhaps I should not underestimate the power of science. Still, I suppose it is nothing much compared to the divination seance. She really doesn't have an adorable bone in her body. Tell me about it. Emma, I think she's actually interested. I've been hanging around her long enough to know that she is the soonest of Sundere's. Really, Mr. Wright? Okay, I'll tell her right now. Yes, do. Well, I guess I have to now, not that I mind that much. Okay, there are many, many ways to estimate the time of death, but the most well-known method uses a change in body temperature. Oh, is that so? Interesting. Like I said, doesn't that just make you think that he died first because he's out here exposed in the cold? And so... Yeah, I think someone may have stabbed him after he was already dead. And, I mean, we already remarked upon the blood, so... I, I mean, I don't know why they put the dagger back, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's, it means nothing right now. Yeah. Body temperature drops at a steady rate from the moment a person dies. That means we can tell how long someone's been dead by measuring their temperature. Isn't that exciting? If you died right now, we could do it on you. Emma! Hmm, I see, I see. That was quite enlightening. Bob Ted, present your forehead now! What? Why? Hmm, you feel just a little over 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Why do we use Fahrenheit in Kurain? How can you tell? It seems you are not dead yet. Of course I'm not! Billy, if your forehead felt like 95 degrees Celsius, that, that would mean the flesh would almost be sloughing off of your, your skull. Fair point. <laughs> it was but a jest. After all, you're still the dead lawyer walking. I failed to see the humor in any of this. Boil skulls. I'll remember that. That could be useful someday. Were there any witnesses? With so many people here at the plaza, you'd think somebody would have seen something. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But we haven't found a single witness. How's that even possible? Because everyone was bent over, utterly devoted to prayer, naturally. All right, the back-shattering pose that nearly killed me and it, Damon. It was, it didn't kill me, but it was fairly challenging. I should be able to do it, though. Still, you'd think someone would have noticed something. It's way easier than Seiza. Dude, you don't even know. Have you ever tried that? No. Like that Japanese sitting pose? No. Oh, my God. I thought so, too, but with the monk's scarf he had on... No one could see the dagger in his upper back. Oh, okay. I mean... Even Emma was here looking at him when he had apparently already died. That's true. That's true. Maybe. Maybe. We're, we're just assuming that. 
I mean, we assumed that he was the killer before. We're just full of assumptions about this guy. But by the end of it, not only will he have been the, the abbot of the whole thing, he'll actually have been Dirk, and he'll be like, and he'll be a cyborg zombie that's actually still currently alive. But assumptions. Plus, everyone was so absorbed in prayer they didn't see or hear anything. I um uh, but like okay, I can understand being absorbed in prayer. But like, if someone opened those giant gates when they weren't, when the right wasn't supposed to be over, surely someone would have noticed that. Well, it's not quite the same thing, but I have stood behind you when you've had headphones on and danced and waved and talked and you haven't noticed. I don't have any peripheral though. Or hearing. Yeah, but they don't have headphones on. That's true. In fact, one could say that it would be easier to hear it because of how little distractions there are up here. Hmm. But what do I know? I can't believe this. Like, literally, I can't believe it. What you choose to believe is your choice. But the fact remains there were no witnesses. Even if you think it's strange that they were deep in prayer and couldn't see, it doesn't mean that they do. However, there is one piece of irrefutable evidence. The dagger. With the fingerprints on it of Maya. Yeah. Sadly, yes. Mm. Could you tell me about the murder weapon? The killer used the Warbaugh Dagger, the legendary weapon of Lady Kira. It's kind of cool and also kind of stupid looking, huh, Mr. Wright? <laughs> it, it doesn't seem very practical. It was discovered impaled in the victim's upper back. But most ceremonial knives aren't, aren't very practical. They're for I ceremony. They're not really for killing. If you really want, like, a good knife for killing, you'd want a Dirk, right? Ah! Uh... The accused's fingerprints were found on the dagger, were they not? Yeah, but that makes perfect sense. Y yes they were. She was supposed to use it in the right, up above. So that makes perfect sense. But if the killer was wearing gloves, then the- <clears throat> Well, aren't you, Mr. Contradicting, today? That's my job description! With such irrefutable evidence, there is no questioning the accused's guilt. Not so fast. What about a motive? Oh, who cares? Maya had no reason to kill Acolyte Zealot. I bet she did. What do the police think about this matter? Oh, okay. Maya had no reason to kill Acolyte Zealot. So you say. But let us now hear what the police think about the matter. The police believe Maya is the Lady Kira figure who has been battling the rebels. Ah, yes, of course. The woman who's been capturing rebels and turning them into the police suddenly became a killer. Don't forget her physical conditioning. Oh, that too, that too, yes. And since Mr. Zealot was the disciple of the High Priest, who turned out to be a rebel, he too was likely a rebel, and therefore met the same untimely demise as his teacher. It all makes sense, and it's all perfect. There, case uh -huh. closed. Yes, that is how the police currently view the crime. There's no way Maya is that Lady Kira vigilante. Well, I know that. But the police are just going with what today's trial concluded. I'm sure they are. Mm. I really blew it in court today. You know, I, I appreciate how hard he is on himself. You know, maybe if he just would have yelled more about the blood. Or... Or how we can't really trust anything that Dot said because he's a rebel? I mean, he's not a reliable witness. Well, that doesn't matter. He couldn't have been the person who was the killer. Well, no, that, that's fine, but... So what? what's the problem then? All we actually did was give him a chance to escape and exonerate him from suspicion as the murderer. That... Really, we didn't get anything else out of it. <sighs> and then some barbed-headed lawyer didn't capitalize on uh, the changes in the crime, so I guess it kind of is his fault. Yeah, you know, he wasn't right. like, the whole reason we had Dots here was to prove the reverse grip stab, but now they're going to be like, oh yeah, but the reverse grip stab because experience, and it's like, but girl, and it's like, but you don't know nothing. <laughs> and, okay, I'll stop. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That message on the prayer flag seems a little weird, but uh, I think I've seen everything there is to see around here. <laughs> we better not question this until later. Yeah.
You have not found or heard anything of particular worth. Are you ready to give up? No. And accept your death? I'm not calling it quits yet. I mean, sorry, I do think it's weird that they're not going on more, more and more on about that. Yeah. D does it look like you have any hope of winning, Mr. Wright? Emma, I can't really say at this point. All I know is I have to keep investigating. What are you two sneaks up to? I would advise you to get back to work if you are done here, detective. Otherwise, I will report you to Prosecutor Saad Mahdi for dereliction of duty. And you'll get a pay cut. Ah, uh, I'm going, I'm going, and why does he have control over my pay? Is she getting paid in damas or dollars? Well, see you later, Mr. Wright, and good luck. Ah, the second murder victim. Did you know Acolyte Zealot too, Your Benevolence? I knew of him. He was just an Acolyte, so... I know he had been living under the care of Abbot in me at his home, but little else. You mean like how they're letting me stay at the temple? Are you seriously trying to insult the poor victim with your comparison, you filthy dog? Hey, what was that comparison for? That is the sacred dagger used in the purification rite. In using it for murder, the vile criminal known as Maya Fey shall be cursed for all eternity. Nothing's been proven yet, so stop treating her like a criminal! Uh, actually it has been proven and she is a criminal. How do you explain the accused's fingerprints all over the dagger then? Like some foolishness like she was supposed to be holding it anyway because of her position? Yes. And the fact that Abbot Enmi was slain with this very weapon as well? I, I hate it when I have no comeback. Because I took it from you by saying it first! Ah! <laughs> Bobbed head. Well, this might be fun. Hello, I'm sorry to bother you again, but... Oh, it's you. Quack, kick, 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 Bobbed head! You are not contemplating casting suspicion upon Lady Believe, are you? She lost her beloved husband and now acolyte zealot who was like a son to her. Of course I'm not! Show some sensitivity! But since she was close to both victims, I wanted to hear what she had to say. Well, who cares? I do! Very well. And then there's the fact that Lady Kira didn't attack Mrs. Enmi. That probably means she isn't a rebel. Maybe. Is this about poor Pure? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can talk about that right now. To be My husband, on the other hand. Yeah, to be fair, do you, like, the sheer amount of uh, stress... And, like, tragedy and grief she's had to go through over the past couple of days. Yeah, and she probably really liked Maya, too. Yeah, so, like, I mean, can't possibly be critical of her. Or yeah. any any goofiness or weirdness or reticence to talk. Right. But, but what about Maya? She's innocent. Maya? I heard she was found guilty. First, my dear husband. And now, Pray. Mrs. Enmi, you don't really believe that Maya is the killer, do you? I... I... I don't know. But that was the verdict. So what else can I believe? What am I to do? The verdict was already reached in your husband's case. But the truth of the matter is yet to be found. How can you be so sure? Because I believe that Maya is innocent. That is all I have right now, my faith in her. So please, help me understand what happened. So please, help me understand what happened. So you're... you're defending her based solely on faith? How silly. Even though you'll be punished for abetting the accused? That's right. All right then. Your faith has moved me. I will tell you what I can. Are you sure about this, Lady Believe? My lovely wife is also a devout follower of Koreanism. As such, she is not one to make light of another's faith. How interesting. But if I find that you have lied about your faith in Maya Faye's innocence, 
I shall curse your entire family and all your disciples for the next eight generations. Not that you'll live long enough to have any. Hey, leave Athena and Paulo alone, buddy. So, how fascinating. Again, that it... It just... I, I think about kind of one of the one of the really big moments in the last game mm -hmm. and then it's like this game like the idea of faith and what that really means and uh and this game seems to really be carrying that forward and exploring that idea more mm -hmm. you know even even that right there was was just a joke but like it seems like that might actually be extremely significant like like consider in in some ways in some ways what Lady Bulib was just expressing was a respect for someone else's faith based on the strength of that faith. And yeah. that's the first time that that has actually come up in in Kurayin. For instance, even, even Rafa was like, why, why do you keep persisting? Why have you not given up? Right, why right. can you still believe she's innocent? It's like, this is an important thing that's just kind of casually coming out. I just think that's fascinating. So, I have questions. Do you like how the envelope is still there? Yeah, yeah. Barbed head, it appears you are quite fond of rummaging through the garbage, this can in particular. I just thought there might be some other important piece of evidence in here. In fact, why is this still in here? Oh, is that right? Well, don't worry about that. Nobody needs to remake assets for something as simple as that. Look, I'm not doing this for fun, really. You're just making fun of Kurayin again. Doesn't look like there's anything else of interest in there. It's just a trash can. For a moment, I thought there was, like, another letter there. Or or waste basket, I suppose, would be better to say. A photo of the high priest, his wife, acolyte zealot, and Maya. Time to live in this house all by yourself, Belieb! Since Maya's in it. Oh my god, look at Belieb. Her wrist. I see... She's the person who had the strap. Ah, she was the super <laughs> fan. Nice. It must have been taken the day before the right. I should ask Mrs. Inmi Man, about it. Man, she is the biggest victim of this whole thing. I know. Or she's the killer. Oh, oh no, don't. Man, I want to look at that food. To think that this would be their final family photo. That no good Maya Fey has some nerve. I mean, here she is posing with the two men whom she would soon kill. I beg to differ. I see this photo as proof that she didn't kill them. Hmm. That smile of hers does not fool me. I sense a deep and abiding malice behind it. Well, you forgive me if I don't exactly trust your intuition. Hmm. It's not like you've known her for 20 years or something. I'll prove Maya's smile is the real deal. All right, time to look at this Tibetan food, or Kudayanese food. All right, so we have a giant pile of greens, which is comically high, but there's still possibly some meat at the bottom. Looks like, are those French fries at the top, or maybe onions? Those are most definitely not French fries. Are you sure? Maya's here. First thing of note, look at the markings on uh, Enmi's forehead. Outline seems interesting, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it's just like the tattoo on Zealot, which, again, that's not a peach, it's a flower. Right, it's like an unopened lotus. Right. Okay, look behind in me. It's a photo that isn't there. It's a photo of a group of people. Huh. That's not there right Are now. You that sure was replaced that that's not, by this. Are you sure that's not the one right behind it? I'll show you. Nope. How interesting. It was replaced by a photo of Zealot. And, a and then the group family photo. Well, that may or may not be. It does seem unusual to put it there without it meaning something. Can I ask you about this photo? This must suck for her right now. Even if she is the killer! Right. It was taken during the Feast of Blessings, the day before the rite was held. The Feast of Blessings? Would you mind telling me a little more about it? Ha ha! It doesn't matter. Pick one. Gotta do them both anyway. This photo was taken during the Feast of Blessings. The Feast of Blessings? Derp! Yes, it is forbidden to eat during the days of the rite, so the day before it's performed, 
We enjoy dishes full of ginghil, an herb known to strengthen the body and mind. Hmm. You love the ginghil based dishes I made, didn't you, dear? This oh. is making me kind of hungry. Ginghil, I heard you can go three days without sleeping after eating some. Sign me up! <laughs> Where can I get it? I want it now. If I could come up with, even if I just went two, that would be like 16 additional hours. That would revolutionize my life. Yes, but many foreigners don't care for it because of its strong smell. You freaking wimps! Can you not handle a stinky freaking plant? My God! It's like, I talk about, like, chugging vinegar, and people are horrified. It ain't that bad. I just, I just don't like to lose to vinegar, okay? <laughs> Our customs say that these dishes can only be eaten the day before the purification rite. But can you sell them to foreigners? And only between noon and 3 p.m. This will be very important. That's... Oddly specific. Man, it kind of makes you want to try and become a monk and head over there just so you can score a whole bunch of gingil. Seriously, <laughs> you could become like the drug kingpin of the world <laughs> by, by securing a source of this stuff. Do you, you would become the richest person in the world. Surely there's negative side effects for not sleeping for three days. Come on. Well, not if it keeps you awake that long. <laughs> Is it because the smell is too strong? What, what, like durian fruit or something? A very good guess indeed. It is to ensure the smell is gone by the time Lady Kira is welcome the next day. She so Lady Kira is a freaking wimp too? <laughs> She's like, their freaking guardian deity is like, Ew, it stinks. And then she leaves? <laughs> no, no, I get it, I get it. I just, it's just the gingil, I want the gingil. I, I, I can tell. Wow, is it really that strong? You, do, you don't have to, you don't sleep for three days if you eat it. Come to think of it, the evening before the murder, an overwhelming odor was all over town. It was like a cross between garlic and mint. Oh, that's not that bad. I like garlic. That's, that sounds great. Yeah. Maybe eye-watering a little bit. Yeah, probably. After the Feast of Blessings, Pere went over to the plaza to begin his supplication. I never thought that that would be the last time I would see him. What was Maya doing at the time? Murdering him. What? What? Or maybe you were. I don't really believe that, but we're out of people to suspect. Unless someone else pops up. Uh, sure. Shortly after Pere left, she went to the temple to prepare for the rite. I don't know what she did after that. Hmm. I mean, I don't really believe it was her. I don't believe it either. Very good. So, Acolyte Zealot went out to pray the afternoon before the rite. But there's no way that she's not involved. And even if she isn't, I'm just, which I hope, it's like, again, she is just the single most, like, pitiful, sad victim. Yeah, you're right. According to the newspaper... I mean, at least she has her child. On the day before the rite, the plaza was so cold, the whole place had iced over. Pere always prayed a lot. For some reason! <laughs> Far more than anyone I have ever known, he did it zealously, you might say. This may have something to do with his name. He was a devout young man whose faith was twice as strong as others. I don't know why, but that's kind of intimidating to me. Hmm. How did Acolyte Zealot end up living here as your husband's disciple? About two years ago, while my husband was at a spiritual retreat in the mountains, he came across Pere collapsed on the ground. That's when he brought him here. You were always one to help those in need, weren't you, dear? Hmm. Well, the police think he was a rebel, so there's no way he was a rebel. Right. And he'd been living here ever since? About two years ago. That's around the same time Maya arrived in Kurai. Replace years with weeks, and it makes me think of a character from Fate Stay Night. <laughs> Sorry, that was pretty random. Yes, he was born in a poor village and had nowhere to call home. My husband pel pelt fitty for the boy, so he took him in as his disciple. He pelt so much fitty. 
but not only as his disciple, he was like a member of our family, too. I see. If this is where Acolyte Zealot lived, there might be something I could learn about him lying around here that I couldn't investigate before. Like, what's that stuff next to the incense? Like those little swirly things that look like Mitama, maybe? Yeah, like Mitama bun candies. Well, why not? I thought I'd have made some progress by now. Unfortunately, we won't shut up, and so it just keeps holding him up. Well, I didn't want to say anything. But I haven't come across any particularly insightful information, even here. You seem disappointed. And you seem pleased. Mrs. Zinmi, is there anything else you could tell me? Forgive me, but if I keep thinking about those two any longer... Barb Ted. Yes, I understand. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry to have troubled you. We have paid a visit to all of the people and places connected with this case. I think it is about time you prepared yourself for the inevitable. Don't you? Hmm. This right here. That the water was already red when we got to the inner, or when Maya got to the inner sanctum. Mm hmm Yeah. Well, we do actually have a potential corpse right outside. That's true. But, That's true. I mean, I, I'm not sure that all adds up, but we just haven't dealt with this at all. Yeah. We're just moving around, refamiliarizing our, ourselves with everything. Pictures of the queen and her husband, the justice minister of Kurain. Yes. My mother and my father. Yes, I know. What do you think? Do they not possess an awe-inspiring air, seer? Oh, God. Terrifying is more the word I would use. Well. Y y yes, they're very awe-inspiring. Very Please good. Don't hurt me. Very good, Bob Ted. Maya sure looks tired. I'm so sorry, Maya. I failed to defend you during that trial earlier today. I'm sorry too, Nick. I never meant to get caught up in this whole mess. I never do. Yeah. Even worse, I got you caught up in it too, and you were convicted under that stupid law. Hey, that was my decision. Nick, you should really withdraw from this case, though it's too late. Maybe they'll even commute your sentence if you do. I, I could never abandon you like that! You might not believe me, but I'm going to pull off a win somehow. It's not like I don't believe in you, it's just... Don't worry. Maybe this extra day in court is a blessing from the Holy Mother. Let's use it to our advantage. We'll turn this trial inside out and upside down. You'll see! Okay... You're awfully quiet, Your Benevolence. It is only a matter of time until your executions are carried out. I simply thought I would allow you to a good talk before you depart from this world. Sorry, but we're not giving up yet, and we won't till the bitter end. There is no need to put on a brave face. Your fates were sealed with today's verdict. Were he not of my fay? Twilight Realm will cleanse the taint from that neophyte practitioner's soul. Then, perhaps, the Holy Mother may finally forgive her. Wait. Was that her attempt at comforting me? Yeah, it's a pretty poor one. Barbed head. Further resistance shall come to naught. Stop your desperate struggle. Accept the judgment that has been passed upon you. She obviously doesn't know me very well. I believe Prosecutor Saad Mahdi would say... Don't! Then, perhaps, your sentence will be commuted and... Hold it right there, your benevolence. Why do you always have to be like that? M Maya, what are you... What is the matter? I was simply showing some mercy upon your souls. Why don't you appreciate my good intentions and goodwill? <laughs> Nick here is risking his life to defend me. And that is why I told you it will come to naught. No, it won't! Nick is just doing what lawyers are supposed to. He's defending his client, no matter what. Enough! There is no place for lawyers in the Hall of Justice, for we have the divination seance. 
but your insights were wrong. Yes! <laughs> oh. oh boy, that's gotta hurt. Don't you get it? Errors are bound to happen if your insights are accepted without question. What, what was I saying earlier <laughs> about, like, <laughs> themes and what is being expressed in this part of the case so far and faith and questioning? <laughs> so I ask you, Royal Priestess, what is your true duty? Do the victim's souls or the Holy Mother herself wish you to judge people in error? Uh, you dare bring her holiness's name into this? Meanwhile, Phoenix is at the side going, <laughs> I'm not getting involved. Kind of like a, oh, I guess she actually has grown up. Yeah. Maya, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know nothing, you, you phony baloney doo-doo head heavens to Betsy. Maya, are you going to take that from her? P -p Please, you two, enough already. I can tell that you're laughing, barbed head. I'm keeping it inside. No, you're not. Sorry, Nick. I got a little carried away. Uh, that's not really like me, huh? Super serious and stuff. <laughs> no, I should be thanking you, Maya. It's good to have you in my corner. <laughs> How dare you mock me so? You will not get away with this. I was a fool to show you compassion and to think I could convince you to accept your fate. So struggle all you want in the Hall of Justice tomorrow. You will receive your just desserts as the scorn of our kingdom is heaped upon you. This is why you're my friend. I can see straight through that contorted smile on your face, you know. <sighs> she may say these terrible things, but it's just the way she was raised, I guess. You guess? Look at her freaking dad! Like I said before, you can be quite devout and just question things. Right! The problem isn't the faith. The problem is... Blind? Is like blind obedience to... Authority isn't the word I want to use, but kind of. Well, blind anything isn't really ever good. Except acceptance of everything without any questions. Yeah. Without trying to work out what it means. I mean, how are you ever supposed to understand anything if you don't challenge yourself and if you don't think about it yeah first abbot in me and now acolyte sell it spare me your crocodile tears we both know it was you who slew those pious men N no it, it wasn't me nick how can we make her understand probably only by getting to the bottom of things in court tomorrow by beating her up again I can't believe the sacred dagger was used in a murder. Only a truly irreverent individual would dare to do such a thing. Such as you. It was your fingerprints that were found upon the weapon. How do you explain that? There you go! I used the dagger during our rehearsals. That's why it has my fingerprints on it. And I was going to use it during the rite. And how do I know you are not lying? Why won't you believe me? Just let it go and move on, Maya. You're changing her mind right now. I'm sorry, I died a little inside when I said that. Well, actually, I guess Maya wouldn't think that was weird at all. Yeah. Um, isn't it interesting, though? Kind of one of the other undercurrents of this whole episode is that Rafa is actually trying really hard to be nice the only way she knows how. She is trying to reach out to people. Isn't it interesting how much she fervently believes, surely, that Maya is guilty, yet she nonetheless is trying to actually be nice and is talking to her and even squabbling? Isn't that yeah. fascinating? Yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, I really like Rafa as much as I want to, like, toss her... I in don't, a closet or something. I don't know if she's warmed up to me yet, but... We took this picture during the Feast of Blessings before all these unthinkably tragic things happened. Unthinkable? I doubt that. You were surely plotting your murderous rampage at the time. I was thinking nothing of the sort, especially not during that meal. The smell of Gingil was so strong and tasty smelling, I couldn't think of anything else. This is Maya we're talking about. Yes, well, it is a rather intense aroma. 
Wow. Do I even want to know how strong of a smell Gingo gives off up close? It's kind of making my mouth water. Could you try to remember what happened one more time? I've been trying as hard as I can, but I can't remember anything from the middle of the ride onward. Oh, right. He suddenly felt sleepy and everything after that, so hold on just a second. Did... Yeah, Did... we noticed this before. Even so, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm not the one going around dressed like Lady Kira. Oh, that's what you meant. I thought you were saying something about... I more meant that she'd eaten an herb that keeps you up he... for three days. Right. <laughs> I was about to say we already had thought that she had been sort of drugged. To yeah. Yeah. But that sure is funny after she's eating all this gingil. Yeah. Although it's kind of cool to think there's a mysterious female vigilante out there. R right. That's not what I was trying to talk about at all. Were you close to Acolyte Zealot? Um... We met several times during the meetings about the right, but I didn't know him very well. He seemed pretty quiet. Did you eat together the day before the right? By the way, this dude is supposed to be 21. Now, you, you can buy that right here. Uh-huh. You're, you're kidding, right? What? Look at his face. Oh, yeah. He looks a lot older, anyway. Didn't you eat together the day before the right? Yeah, we ate this one super stinky dish, but it was actually really good. Just like Damon. Damon jealous. <laughs> yeah, just like that. I wasn't sure I'd like it, but it was love at first bite! Like, you know the salty no noodles at Eldoon's Noodles? It's like if you added garlic and herbs to that and then let it simmer for a really long time. Sounds more like a hot pot than ramen to me at that point. Mm. Now I miss ramen too. Um, so what was Acolyte Zealot like while you were eating? Gingale. Sorry, I was dreaming about food. <laughs> he seemed to be enjoying the food. We talk about that a lot, don't we? But as soon as we were done, he left to go pray. And what did you do? Oh, um, I returned to the temple to prepare for the rite. That coincides with Mrs. Inmi's description of events. Any idea who might be pretending to be Lady Kira? Uh, it really isn't me, you know. <laughs> y yes, I know. When the rite started, it was just me and Abbott in me. But the seance vision showed a third figure who looked like Lady Kira. And, you know, I keep thinking that Lady Kira is really cool and how cool it is that there's a female vigilante running around, but, I mean, it's really not me. Uh, I know. Lady Kira. I wish I could have seen her in the flesh. Um, yeah, let's stay focused on the case, shall we? I'll probably never get a chance to see her like that again. It was supposed to have been impossible for a third party to enter the inner sanctum. Unless I channel her myself. Oh, but what if she came from the sky? You know, like that bushy-bearded paratrooper who likes to eat lizards? I bet lizards would taste really good with Gingil! You're getting distracted! Don't you think... Okay, that mountain would have been no match for Lady Kira's wings. That's from the Plume Punisher TV show, right? How do you know? Because the real Lady Kira doesn't have wings. Toksats is real life, though, Nick. <laughs> okay, I've got it this time. There must be a secret room with a secret door and a secret passage at the inner sanctum. Did you know there are 88 secret Plume Punisher bases here in Kurain? Can we please stop talking about the Plume Punisher show for a sec, Maya? Stop talking about the Plumed Punisher? I don't understand. That's like me stop. Stopping talking about Gundam. Or food. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> I guess so. Keeping it real is much harder than it looks. Don't ever use slang again. Well, I should get going now. Why is adulting so hard, Nick? I just want to watch cool TV shows. Maya, if I knew the answer to that, I would tell you. Sorry it wasn't any help. Don't worry. I've got this. I have the giblies from saying the word adulting. It kind of makes me <laughs> want to go kill myself. <laughs> we'll beat the charges tomorrow and be on the first plane back home before you know it, except for the final trial, which is most assuredly going to involve us. Then we'll go grab dinner at El Dunes or your favorite burger joint. You pick. I guess you could combine them. The ramen burger? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I was thinking burger ramen. Actually. Ah, burger ramen. Sounds good. Maybe, you see, Eldun 
was famous for always talking about salt and putting like such an obscene amount of salt uh, in in the noodles. So it was just utterly ridiculous. Like he even had this one special that was just a giant crystal of salt. <laughs> and it was like you just forget about the noodles. And, the salt like special. Yeah. I think I'll get the extra large hamburg steak topping on my salty bowl. Just like Damon said, <laughs> best of both worlds. Because hamburg is like just a hamburger yeah, patty. Yeah. It's like the really Japanese thing. And yeah. Oh, I was going to keep talking about food. I know. You can have whatever you like, but first, I have to beat the charges. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, well, what is it? I have a favor to ask. Okay, but why are we whispering? Oh, I was supposed to be whispering. I forgot I left something at the high priest's house. It's super important. Would you mind getting and holding on to it for me? Sure. What's the super important thing? It'll turn out to be really relevant to the case. <laughs> In my bag, you'll find a folding book. It's only given to the priestess who performs the rite. It's called the Tome of Secrets, so it's it's actually important and not just more merchandise. That does sound important. How could you leave something like that just lying around? Oh, you're Maya. Because I, I was thinking about food and Plumed Punisher and Steel Samurai. That explains and, all the whispering. Oh, I forgot to whisper. If Rafa found out, all heck would break loose. You two are so suspicious when you do that. Look, it's got Lady Kira's real name written in it, so... No, what does that mean? Don't tell anyone I told you that. You are not supposed to know. In fact, just forget I said anything at all. It's supposed to be a secret. The Tome of Secrets contains secrets? Imagine that. What are you talking about, barbed head? I'm a phantom thief. Are you talking about something extremely <laughs> rare and valuable <laughs> to the Koreanist religion? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. It's just she forgot something, so I told her I'd go get it. Are you using a megaphone to admit your identity as the Phantom Thieves, which is, I believe, something that kept happening with Billy? You, you're up to something. I know it. Thanks, Nick. I'm counting on you. Don't mind me. Just snooping around again. Oh? Anybody home? No, time to rob the house. No answer, and there's no one standing in front of the shrine, so Mrs. Inmi's probably out right now. Well, I'll just get what I came for and be completely shocked by the revelation of what it is. I am watching you like a war bod barbed head. You had better not steal anything. I would never do something like that. I'm just here to get what Maya asked for. Uh-huh, and get on with it. I would if you'd stop interrupting me. Hurry up, do it now. I, I love the disapproving face. <laughs> I also like how we finally get to look at this bag. Yeah. Before he was like, it bag, and that was it. Ah, here's Maya's bag. It Don't bag! need to investigate further. It bag! Huh. What's that strange patch on her bag? It's the Steel Samurai. He's the hero of an action hero show back in my country. Hmm. It's actually Maya's favorite show. She's got all sorts of merchandise related to it. That's what I expect to find in here. I see. He looks strikingly similar to the plumed Punisher. Oh, he's you a, don't say! He's a knockoff! <laughs> they are similar, but the Steel Samurai definitely came first. I see. How interesting. Is the show any good, Barbed Head? Oh yeah, it's really good. Rafa seems genuinely intrigued. There must be a common thread between Plumed Punisher and Steel Samurai fans. You know, I like Tokusatsu a whole lot. I do but too. I definitely prefer it when there are robots. I do too. But I've never seen any non-robotic Tokusatsu. You've seen, you've seen Gato. I guess you're right. I guess I just mentally classified it as something else. Come to think of it. Did Maya mention something about trading with a Plumed Punisher fan? Dude, do you even look at the <laughs> evidence that you've been given? <laughs> But I digress, that'll come up later. I'd better find what she asked me to look for and get going. Let's see here. This must be that Tome of Secrets that Maya was talking about. I mean, uh, uh this must be that Tome of Secrets. I that heard Maya was you the first about. time. That seems important. What do you mean, challenge the roots of my country? Well, barbed head, are you finished now? Uh, not yet, we have to actually look at it. Well, let me look at it, too. Nope. 
The priestess acting as Lady Kira's representative must know her name. That name is Imsan. Speaking this name is unforgivable. Oh, well, it looks like there's only one bittersweet gamer left. Damon was struck down by the Holy Mother. Lock this knowledge deep in your heart and devote yourself to prayer. I'm still alive. Eh, you'll bleed out in a few minutes. Oi! I'm sure, th I'm sure the text on here is really important. You know, I say again. How are you alive? <laughs> oh, I underestimated him. I say again, sometimes that Kurayanese script looks a little bit like hiragana. No, that's just your imagination, stupid. Hold on a second. The string around it is coming undone. Whoops! Oh, looks like it just opened up here. <laughs> what we were just looking at. Oh! Ah! Oh, you fool! Do not lay eyes upon this! Put it away quickly before we go blind! Damon just died a few moments ago before he was resurrected! <laughs> but you won't be so lucky! Relax, my hand just slipped. This is the Tome of Secrets! Are you trying to get us cursed? What were you doing with it? Aren't I boned anyway? Lady Kira is liable to swoop down and gouge our eyes out! Oh right, this book is related to Lady Kira, isn't it? What? Your benevolence. Would you mind if I ask you some questions? Uh... This is not something I would normally speak about to an outsider such as you. Well, can't you make an exception? If you insist... Naina! <sighs> why, am I why am I actually going to tell you this? What of this folding book? Yes, I see. Mm -hmm. This very important tome is bestowed upon the priestess in the purification rite. Very important? Oh, oh, it's written inside. Really? Oh, why didn't I know that already? Yes, I see. <laughs> is it is it all right to reveal that? Should you have revealed that to me? Uh, your benevolence? Patience, patience. I'm not a doctor. The book contains Lady Kira's true name, which you undoubtedly know because you were told this by Maya, and I already watched you read it before you said that it came undone. Yeah! Her true name? Is the name really that important of a secret? To a Karayanist priestess, a person's name is one of the most important things to know. Okay. What's so important about a name? What's in a name? Does a rose by the end of the name not smell as sweet? Man, I mangled that, didn't I? Without a name, a priestess's voice will fail to reach a person's mitama. It is much like trying to send a letter without the recipient's address. Really? So if someone is using an assumed name, she can't perform a spirit divination on them? Hey, that might come up, Dirk. Yeah. Or maybe Zealot? Maybe, yeah. I mean, he was found, like, laying in, yeah. the, in the snow. A spirit can only be identified once you know the deceased's face and name. Oh, I get it. It's like when you see someone in a crowd you recognize, but you don't know their name. It makes it impossible to get their attention. Indeed. You must know a spirit's face and true name before you can commune with it. It is the same for Kurianism's most secret art that I am understanding you are completely keeping a secret that Maya is a master at. What? One that my mother alone may use. The queen has a secret art? He sucks you. <laughs> it is something a foreigner such as you could never hope to guess, and certainly have never experienced. Ah? Uh? In Koreanism, spirit channeling is a secret art that can only be performed by the queen. No one else is supposed to be able to do it. I know something you don't know. I should pretend this is all new to me. Besides, I get the feeling she secretly really wants to tell me all about it. The... Could you tell me about this secret art of the queen you spoke of? Well, since you insist, uh, uh, come again. Oh, sorry. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this. Talk about what? It is a secret after all, right? Well, I... 
It is the secret of the spirit, Chandler. But I suppose those words are meaningless to you. I'm just surprised how willing you are to tell me about it. Well, I'm 14 and I like to gossip and you're going to die in a few days anyway. So a third-rate lawyer cannot channel spirits simply by learning of the technique. Could a first-rate lawyer do it? Third rate is a bit harsh. I'd even settle for second. Come on. What is it? You have the look of a tentacled hag frog upon your face. Is that good or bad? You want to hear all about spirit channeling, don't you? What the heck is a tentacled hag frog? More importantly, how does it taste? I think our uh, priorities are a little different here. Spirit channeling? That's where a medium lets the spirit possess her body to return to our world, right? Well, <laughs> I see you have done your homework. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I learned it from a book. Oh, I guess I studied a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that laugh, barbed head. Neither did I. With the power of spirit channeling, one can bring back even the most ancient of spirits, just like we had posited... The thing uh, about Maya is, you know, whoops, we can call back all these great figures from their past. Yeah. It is quite a magnificent power, is it not? I've never seen her eyes light up like this before. <laughs> I imagine they're pretty shocked when they come back from ancient times. Indeed. Mm, this just seems to lend more credence. To what I was saying? Yeah. I'm going to learn how to do this. A spirit's memory is cut off at the moment of death. So even a spirit that is brought back after centuries doesn't sense any gap in time. So that must be what that symbol means. The symbol on, uh... Yeah, no, I understand the symbol you're talking about, but what do you mean That what must it have means? some connection to either... To either the rebels, or maybe it was a symbol of some sort... Of what the rebels that Lady Kira was fighting in the past. Okay, I could buy that. At first, I was like, what on earth are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, sorry, I was kind of vague there, wasn't I? You went, like, eight steps forward. <laughs> the... I... No comment. I don't know. Okay. So even a spirit that is brought back after centuries doesn't sense any gap in time between the moment of its death and the moment it is channeled? Yes. And yet, it clearly recalls all of the memories it had in life. Thus, even heroes and scholars of antiquity can be channeled and directly learned from. Oh, scholars of antiquity? How Chinese. <laughs> Our queens have also used this power to help the rulers of neighboring lands seek counsel. That is why we have never been invaded, and how we have maintained our unique culture by threatening to talk to Confucius. <laughs> I mean, China would actually leave them the heck alone or try to invade them? Y yeah? Throughout the time? And I don't know. That's too big of a rabbit hole. So spirit channeling is a really effective tool for international politics. Uh, it is That's indeed. a little weird. And that is why only those with the power to channel spirits may rule our kingdom. Hmm. You know, what an interesting tool in the world. <laughs> I well, mean, if, if this sort of thing is accepted on the global level, doesn't that kind of throw a lot of things into question? That's why we're not going to go down this, <laughs> this line of thought. But of late, there has been an endless influx of illegal immigrants from neighboring lands. The fools come seeking the same great power as my mother. Illegal immigrants? Yes. It's becoming quite a problem. Some have lost their way in life and look to Koreanism for their salvation. Ah, like peace loving. Among them are also those of dubious nature who have been driven from their own land. Like peace loving. And pain. And pain. Dubious nature, driven from their own land. Gasp and pain definitely fit that bill. Yeah, corruption. But they sure weren't treating him like an illegal alien. Okay, well, we were trying <laughs> to get through, like, the whole investigation, but clearly, we just ain't gonna make it. Don't we'll catch you all next time, everyone. We don't want to drag this out any longer than it already is. Wait a minute. Are you really Damon, or were you possessed by an ancient spirit? Is that how you came back?
Get in! 